Hey guys, Zane1239 here, and I'm here to give you guys my Anna Green Gables 1934 reaction. Now, this is the second movie adaptation that was ever created for this beloved novel. I have seen this movie like once maybe. I've seen a couple scenes a few times, but I haven't seen this movie in a really long time. It's been like two years since I watched it. I remember watching it with a couple of friends on Rabbit, and it was amazing. It was so funny. <laughs> I just thought we should watch it this time. I just think we should um, appreciate this movie in a YouTube video. So we're gonna do that. Also, I think what's so interesting about this film in particular is the fact that the actress who played Anne Shirley changed her name to Anne Shirley after playing this role, which I heard is a very common practice that was done for like actors after having a breakout role. Anyway, there is a lot of like creepy stuff about this film that I guess we will watch and see what happens. <laughs> okay, let's get started now. Anne of Green Gables, lovely. Directed by George Nicholas, nice. <laughs> don't know these people. Oh, yeah, this was published by L.C. Page, which was the publishing company, like the original publishing company for Anna Green Gables. But from what I've read, Lucy Mom Montgomery had a lawsuit with them and stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty messy. Okay, there you go. The players and Shirley, which, yay. I <laughs> Oh, that's the thing I was going to bring up is the fact that I have a video where I react to the boat scene from this movie. So you guys should check it out. I'll leave a card here. <laughs> okay, I think this is Diana, if I'm not mistaken. And then that's supposed to be Rachel Lynn slash Miss Barry, which is really weird how they decide to like mash up these two characters. <laughs> and I think Diana's blonde in this version too. Yeah, so they decided to mash up Rachel Lynn and... Miss Barry, which I guess kind of makes sense, like, so that they don't have a lot of different characters, they just decide to mash up two of them. And that's Marilla. We love Marilla. Good morning, Marilla. And it's like the typical morning, beginning of... And how is everyone at Barry's yeah. house? You and Matthew Cuthbert adopting a boy from an orphan asylum? Well, the world is certainly turning upside down. Yeah, I'll be surprised much. at nothing. Now, how can a body drink tea when they're so excited they're about ready to birth? <laughs> How'd you know the boy was coming? She is such a well, <laughs> good Miss Mary and Rachel Lind. It's also so interesting how actors acted back then compared to now. They were very different, you know? Like, can you imagine Anne with the knees, Rachel Lind versus... Whoever this character is supposed to be, like Miss Barry, I guess. I guess this is Miss Barry, like technically, but also Rachel and. Well, we're not getting a girl. Yeah, you are. Oh, and that's that's Matthew. Aww. Matthew's kind of creepy in this movie, <laughs> so never mind. We're not expecting a girl. It's a boy I've come for. He looks very unsurprised. It's like we weren't expecting a girl. Oh my God! There she is. <laughs> And for this reason, I prefer R.H. Thompson over this. <laughs> oh my god, look at her hair. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, <laughs> those like horse tails. I'm gonna call them horse tails, okay? Instead of braids. Because what the heck? <laughs> She's so pretty. And see, the thing is, is Anne isn't supposed to be like conventionally pretty. pretty. And also, I don't think she has freckles. So it's like, this is like the Hollywood version of Anne, if I've ever seen one. Oh, I'm glad. Is this like a, a green driving. screen or something? Did they have green screens back then? And you know what's also not good about this version is the fact that we don't really I get to see the scenery. The most beautiful place in the world. Yeah, she's talking about the most beautiful place in the world, and yet we don't get to see it. <laughs> That's why it doesn't work in this movie. What did that tree all white and lacy make you think of? Well, now, I don't know. <laughs> Why, a bride, of course. He is so uninterested. <laughs> well, what color? Oh my god, that hair. <laughs> I can't. It's red, isn't it? Yes, the horse tails. I know I'm skinny and a wee bit freckled in my eyes. Freckled? Are... Where is your freckles? They're staring at each other way too intensely. Another thing that sucks about this is the fact that there's a continuation. There was a sequel to this movie, but I think a lot of the footage was actually lost. Green Gables, and they're green. Green Gables! 
Nice. I think that's nice. <laughs> oh. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Are you really? Oh, this iconic part. <laughs> Marilla, this is... How do you do? Marilla's not having it. We sent word to Mrs. Spencer to bring a boy. Well, she didn't. She, brought she only her. brought her. Oh, I would love to be called Cordelia. I don't know what on earth you Aww. mean. Oh, <laughs> smile. If you're going to call me Anne, please spell it with an E. Anne with an E. This is pretty much a rehash of the book at this point. But y'all will see what happens in like halfway through. <laughs> Here's your room for the night. Wash up. Come down and stop. <laughs> I actually like this Marla. <laughs> you should have heard her talking coming from the station. Oh, the way he says that. <laughs> She's just Hurry like... <laughs> we don't I'm even get to see the house. Like, it's all covered. Goodbye, Mr. Cuthbert. I shall never forget your kindness. Oh. She doesn't look that mean. Sit down, Miss Cuthbert. She like, no, no thank you. <laughs> she... <laughs> What the heck? I feel like she's more high class in this version, Marilla. Oh, that little baby's so cute. Not expect you to earn your keep. No mistake about that. <laughs> she's like... <laughs> the way she looks at her, like... <laughs> Thank you. Get into it. <laughs> I just feel a prayer. Her reaction, I can't. Oh my god. She is not having it. Please make me beautiful when I grow up. She is beautiful. Like, at least she finally has her hair all braided now. Like, like fully braided. Aww. She's tucking her in. That's so sweet. Good night. I love that. I don't think I've ever seen that from a adaptation. Oh my god, you can see her. She loves her now. Good morning, Marilla. <laughs> Come in, Rachel. Thank you. Oh my god, this part. We love this right part. So Iconic. This is Mrs. Barrett. How do you do? We can tell she already hates her. A bit skinny. Mortal I feel like Marilla's getting Anyone upset. Ever see such More hair? upset than Anne. Red as carrot. How dare you say I'm skinny? <laughs> How dare you say I'm redheaded? You're an impolite, rude, unfeeling woman. <laughs> And I hate you! But don't expect me to disappear again if I'm to be flown at and insulted in such a fashion. She's like, yes. <laughs> Bye, Rachel. At this point, I'm just waiting for Gilbert. Oh, But this Gilbert is just... <laughs> Rachel may have been too outspoken, but she's your elder. See, I never understood this part. Apologize to Mrs. Barry. Then I'll leave now. Send me back to the orphanage. I'll never know Mrs. Barry. Okay, then bye. Matthew Cuthbert, don't form opinions for me. I never said I do or don't like it. Queen. Oh my god, this part. He like creeps up in her bedroom. I can't, I can't with this Matthew. Okay, why is he smiling like that? I'd just rather die than tell Mrs. Barry I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Don't you think you're That's a relatable quote, you know. Oh, Diana. Blonde Diana. Every word you said was true. My hair is red, and I am skinny and ugly. What I said about you was true, too, but I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> the way she says it, so passively. <laughs> Come here, dear. <laughs> Diana's just, like, spying. Oh, I just love that. All right. Come on. Oh, kindred spirits. But though we haven't exactly decided to keep her, she ought to go to school. Oh, yes, we're finally getting to the school part. Oh, I'm better at looking after children, though. I had so much experience at the orphanage. It's such a pity you haven't any hair for me to look after. What? Wait a minute, she likes looking after kids? That's not her thing, is it? I felt he was a kindred spirit as soon as ever I saw him. Oh. Well, you're both odd enough, that's what you mean. <laughs> we love her roast. I'll try to be good in school, of course. It will be uphill work. I'll try to be good in school. I thought she liked school. Don't you ever imagine things differently from what they really are? No. I never imagine things differently from what <laughs> they really are. Oh, Marilla, Marilla how much, how much you, you missed. missed. 
Oh my god, yes, finally a school scene. Yes. My name is Anne Shirley. <laughs> Those horse tails, I can't. So last March and I was born in Halloween. Oh my, god, my father's name is Walter Shirley and my mother's name is Percy Shirley. <laughs> He's just like such a disgrace to have a father name of say Hezekiah. Hez Hezekiah? <laughs> is she friends with Diane or no? This is the thing I don't understand. Serbia, which is bounded I on can't the north by Austria Hungary. <laughs> but like, we all know this is the most exciting part of the story. Yo, he winked at her. I love that. <laughs> what the he sketched the teacher. <laughs> He's so offended. She's so you funny. mean hateful My God. No. How dare you? <laughs> What's this disturbance? That was not it was worth my it. my fault, Mr. Phillips. I teased her. <laughs> I love how it just hangs on his on his neck. It's like a new necklace. <laughs> the way did you guys see that? Oh my God, I can't. The way she just snarks at him. Did she spell it with an E? She did. Oh, um, now she changes it. Oh, I don't know if we get any other characters from like the schoolroom. His hair isn't even curly. We don't stand. You should be angry with him for making fun of your hair. He calls me Toehead. A Toehead? He called me Karen. I don't care what he called you. You had no right to lose your temper. And I think that Gilbert Blythe is a. Who did you say it was? Gilbert, Gilbert Blythe. Blythe. <laughs> she like. T. <laughs> The way she reacts. <laughs> oh my god, I can't with this part. I can't. This looks so wrong. Let's not talk about it. Mrs. Blair said that Gilbert isn't even allowed to set foot on the Cuthbert property. What? He has a restraining order. <laughs> Gilbert has a restraining order. Oh my god, I can't with... I think it's nice to invite Diana here to do your work. <laughs> Exposed. So this is like a Romeo and Juliet story. Is that the only reason? It's getting kind of late, Anne. I think we better start for the house. He's not going to spill. Has she talked about puff sleeves yet? I don't think so. Of course, it wouldn't really matter what the dress was made of as long as it had there puff you go. sleeves. There you go. Never don't you think puff sleeves? He's like what? I can't. <gasps> Did he check? Did you guys see that? Did he check them out? He checked them. Matthew, I can't with you. Don't. Is this is what I'm talking about. Matthew's such a creep in this version. I'm never gonna look at them the same again. All I have to do is wave my little finger. <laughs> <laughs> we love how salty he is. Open this up. I'll keep watch. I can't take him seriously. <laughs> He's like. You'll go to no hayride nor anywhere else until you tell me the truth. This part is always so unfair. And you've been up in your room all this time. Is she on a tree? How did she get on that tree? <laughs> First thing we climb a tree. If for no other reason than to show you I can make Gilbert Blythe eat right out of my hand. Okay, that's the motivation for going. Mrs. Barry was right. She warned me from the first. I should have known. Brother. What? What was she gonna do? Like execute her? Uh. He's like. He's so proud of himself. Oh my god, yes, we love this part. This part isn't in the original, so... At this point, we love any deviation, because I've basically seen everything. Now you just watch. Oh my god. Yo, she's going to seduce Gilbert. Good evening, Mr. Bly. She's so cute. Honestly, she's so cute. He's not. Hello, Diana. Karen. Oh, yo, Gilbert and Diana. I thought you'd never get here. <laughs> like, get on. I feel bad for her now. Oh my god, wait. I don't remember this scene. Morning, Miss Shirley. <laughs> Have a good time on the hayride. <laughs> his voice. I can't with his voice. If I tolerate you at all, Mr. Blythe, it's because you're a character. I'm a what? <laughs> a character. You are a character. <laughs> I don't understand you. Mr. Phillips is a character. Yes. And Matthew's a character. Everyone's a character. You're a character. You are. This is I so meta. You read too much. <laughs> is this supposed to be meta? Like Anne is a character. Everyone's a character in this story. One of these days, you'll be glad to have me for a bow. I have a bow. Oh. Oh, and he's a character too. <laughs> no, I like him. 
He's too grown up for such things. Yo. Look at all this. Actually, I'm proud to Wow. She's so school. sly. Oh my god, he almost kissed the other girl. And love her revered courtship. Wow. She really did that. This is not from the book. And you, Gilbert Blythe, are annoyingly inquisitive. <laughs> Herbert Root was to have taken me on the hayride, only he couldn't get here in time. Why, what? Hey, really? Even in this version, she lies. <laughs> Last week, I discussed with you There's a young Herbert. man of whom I'm very proud. Herbert Root. <laughs> <laughs> I love her reaction. I chose for my subject the Lady of Shalott because it presented an interesting oh. problem and unrequited love. So he studied the Lady of Shalott. I will declare a short recess that you may meet Herbert and ask him any questions. Oh my god. Me we love a mean greet. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> Did you see the kid? Aren't you gonna speak to him? <laughs> or are you just gonna correspond? No, 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 Anne, don't do this. Don't humiliate your. Oh my gosh, she's gonna humiliate herself. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cringy. Hello. Um, what did she expect? That he was gonna recognize her or something? I don't understand. Oh my god, boat scene. Love that. I've come to the conclusion that a good imagination is a bad thing. There's no romance in the world. Oh, uh, that's why she does the Lady of Shalott in this scene. And that's why she's with no one. We love watching this two years later. <laughs> I was so extra in that reaction, but I still love it. The way the boat moves is so weird. <laughs> Did she just throw the paddle? She could have at least put it inside the boat with her. Like, she didn't have to throw it. What was she thinking? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Singing in her song. She, she died. died. The Lady, Lady of Shalom. I love this part. This is iconic. She's like... <laughs> this is the most action-packed scene in the movie. She could have not thrown the paddle away. Maybe she would have been able to steer herself to land. Hang on, Anne. Oh. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't let go, Jack. Don't let go. Oh, we love a Titanic story. <laughs> oh, it's you. Her not noticing that Gilbert was the one that saved her. And this part is just so weird. I'm a hero. A real hero with parts <laughs> such as... He's like a little boy, you know, like... I'm a hero. I just couldn't keep my eyes off it. Aww. It was kind of nice looking at it. But when I tried to tell you about it, I guess I didn't say it right. He called... Her carrots. He was upset. What is he even talking about? Like, he said it to make her feel bad. I want you to be my girl. <laughs> I want you to be my girl. No, Anne. You have higher standards. Actually, not. Now they're, like, courting. In secret. Like, in Romeo and Juliet. I don't mind, Rita. <laughs> You're a needs dropper. I wonder what would happen if Marilla ever found out. Let's hope she never does. Now this is like a love story. Also, how long have they been keeping this from Merle and Matthew? Lock it. Oh, he gives them a I've lock I've always it. wanted one. It's guaranteed not to turn green. <laughs> That's a keeper. I don't remember if they ever kiss in this version. I don't think they do. Thank you, Anne. Aww. Now he- now she gives him a gift. <gasps> oh, Mr. gee there, Slash Rachel. Goodbye, sweetheart. That's the first time you've ever called me that. <laughs> How long have they been dating? I've been wanting you two for three years. Three years? <gasps> they kissed! And Shirley kissing that blind boy. They kissed. I mean, at least it was kind of a slow burn. I'm not really sure. And you've probably known it all along. No, Marilla? No. I've never been down near that tree. How'd you know it was by a tree? Wait a minute. Ew. A person can imagine things. Ew. First of all, has he been spying on them kissing and stuff? The way he just smiled at them. Ah. And Shirley. She changed so much. I never would have killed it by Please, Marilla. Uh, okay. She barely said anything to her. <gasps> He's like expecting to see Anne and it's like, turns around like, oh. 
I've come to talk to you about Anne. You've got a restraining order, okay? Stay away from Anne. <laughs> that girl has ambitions to make something of herself. She's going to normal school as soon as she's ready, and she can't let anything stand in our way. We love a progressive mother. Why is she grabbing the cake with her hand? I don't want to hold her for the trip. A cake. <laughs> a slice of cake. Oh my god, the scene. I can't. You're going to see what's going to happen at campus. You're both such dolls. <laughs> and you're never... I've just got to kiss her. <laughs> Hold her off. Kissing. Might as well kiss him too, I think. Ew. 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 <laughs> No, that's not what you do. It was a lucky mistake, Mrs. Spencer, when she didn't bring us a boy. So you see, it wasn't luck that brought her here. It was Providence. Providence. <laughs> I love this scene. No, not this whole scene, but like that part. <laughs> Diana! Oh. oh my god, she looks so different. We barely got to see their friendship. What the heck? Oh, Anne. And you've become prettier. I thought she was going to say you'd become pretty. You're a married woman. She's married? To who? To think of him all the time and know that he's thinking of you. And nobody can interfere. <laughs> that must be happiness. This could turn into a horror film. Matthew is pretty sick to be bothered with visitors. Matthew's sick? I mean, we didn't even get the Queen's entrance exams or anything. Like, they just skipped over that and turned this into a love story. May I see Matthew? He's just dozed off to sleep. And if we waken him, the excitement of seeing you here might, <laughs> might sort of set him back. That sounds so wrong. We have to get the money somehow. They've sold about everything they could. That doesn't really look like that's true. Oh, There he is. <laughs> oh my god. A reunion. Yes. They look so different. I promise Marilla that we've grown up since then. Yo. There's nothing we can do. It'll be all right, Anne. He just wants to get some, I think. Gilbert. Aww. Fine young man, that Gilbert Blythe. He might have been my boy once. Wait a minute. Marilla, where are you going? Get Gilbert Blythe and bring him right back here. Aww. That's how this ends? He doesn't even, like, die. <laughs> That was it. Tom Brown. That was the name of Gilbert. That was interesting. Okay, so I just rewatched the scene where Diana explained the whole conflict between the Cuthberts and Gilbert, and it's that Gilbert's mom was supposed to marry Matthew, but she married Gilbert's dad. <laughs> and that was it. And then Merla's just like, her conflict with Gilbert, which was like pretty major, was the fact that she had to take care of Matthew. I don't get, I don't, because like Matthew doesn't really care. It's mostly Marilla that is the obstacle between Anne and Gilbert in this movie. Shouldn't he be the one that cares more about this whole thing because it's his situation, not really Marilla's? I don't get it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. I don't know how well it's going to turn out when I edit this. But I hope it was okay. I hope it entertained you guys. I can't believe I just watched this movie. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of wish that there was the sequels just so that I can roast it because I haven't seen it. I know there are a few clips on YouTube. Maybe I'll react to that. It's a lost film at this point. Same with the 1919 version. But what can you do? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this movie. If you've seen it before, let me know. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on all my social media accounts. They should be up here on screen right now. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.